Hi, I'm Juan, and in this class we'll learn how to establish your own graphic Bible with PureRef. When we open PureRef, the start page is this blank black layout with no images. See? Nothing here. Ok little lab, we will fill you up with all kind of images. Ok, let's start searching for gold. Here you can see my Pinterest. You can search my name and add it if you want. Look at the Pinterest board I made for this course. Then we click on character. I have made a few boards within the main class 101 board for a reason. Of course. Let's make the browser window smaller and drag it to the right. We click on the girl's image, hold the left click button and drag it into PureRef. You can move the image of, on PureRef by clicking and holding the left click button. See, it's easy. To resize PureRef, just right click and drag. You want to pan in the canvas, press left click and option in Mac or left click and alt in Windows. We can make PureRef windows bigger by clicking with the left click and dragging, just like any other window. We make the window big enough so we do not leave any blank space between the browser and PureRef. Let's repeat. We pick the other girl's picture and throw it to the PureRef canvas. We can move them and arrange them later. We go back to Class 101 Pinterest board. We click on character posing. There is just one picture but I love that pose. We click and drag and put it beneath the other two. When we left click at an empty spot in the canvas, on drag you activate the selection tool. We click and drag and left click again to move the pictures up. Far away from the other one. It's really easy. Let's go back again to Pinterest to keep fishing. We go to character style. I love to make Pinterest board about the style. My style board has a lot of different artwork. We click and drag in each picture. Sometimes Pinterest can lag and the image disappear. Don't panic. When you refresh the page, it shall go back to normal. You can also click on the image and drag it. This way takes more time, but it, it won't make your precious images disappear. Whoa! The format of this image is big. Let's press left click option on command in Mac or left click Ctrl and Alt on Windows and drag the image. We can select many images and resize them at the same time. Let's make everything tiny. I'm tiny man. Let's drag this little girl there. Finally, she's as fierce as her true self. Let's make her tiny as her peers. By clicking on Command F on Mac or Ctrl F on Windows, we can make the canvas the, the size of the whole screen. Let's tidy up this mess. Click Command N or Ctrl N to create a note. We will name the title first. We will name it Class 101 Character Design Reference. If we click on the little T on the upper left corner, we can change the color of the letters. You can also change the opacity below or the color. Let's add some rows in here. You can drag it and of course resize it at will, like the other images. It's so simple. Let's create another note on type character on it. Once you finish writing, click on an empty space. We will also change the color to white. By the way, the other square on the lower left corner changes the color of the note's background. By the way, the other square on the lower left corner changes the color of the note's background. Now let's put it on the left. Tiny again, please. Below we put the two girls and make them even tinier. If you want to create a note of the same size, just copy and paste it using Command C and then Command V in Mac or Control C then Control V on Windows. To change the title, we have to click twice on the letters before clicking on the lid. If not, the note will be deleted instead of the text. We name it Style. How original. We arrange the whole workplace and right click to keep searching for reference on Pinterest. We click and drag, then we resize to fit the image amongst the others. Let's create another group. We copy and paste the style node and rename it Posing. Posing is so important in animation. 
We put the node on the right and oh, surprise, the canvas grew larger. The more you move to its border, the more it grows. It will grow on both sides when you drag an image or a node to the left or right, up or down. Of course, to zoom on the canvas, use the wheel or your fingers. When the canvas grows too large, we just press Command O or Control O to scale it down in order to fit the existing nodes and images. With all the shortcuts you have learned, you can fill a canvas in no time. This image goes totally on posing. I love this artist, Annette Marna. She went to my school. Here is another one, Guillaume Saint-Gelin. I don't draw like him, but I adore his style. Keep in mind to use references you like. Do not force yourself to pick something you don't like, of course. Big advice. If you want to improve, try learning what kind of reference an artist used to build his own style. We will use as many references as we can. I like to have a lot, even if I end up discarding most of them. This helps us to make some choices. This guy worked for Chilkao too. I love his line art and colors. I have never spoke to him, but I would like to meet him one day. Just as he said, we will take another big reference of mine. It's a French Bere artist named Loic Lucatelli. He's one of my favorites. I think he went to my art school too. I'm seeing a pattern here. <laughs> I picked the wall reference because I love the texture work in it. Don't think merely on the line. Hello students, oh, we keep making our groceries. Oh no, a picture pivoted. We do not want that. We can rotate it with left click and command on Mac or left click and control on Windows. We can always press command Z or control Z to go backwards. We can also snap rotate the image if you want with left click command shift on Mac or left click control shift on Windows. The images will rotate a lot. You can always change the shortcuts press it to avoid it. I haven't because I have not thought about it until now. Let's tidy up again. When there's a lot of images, I like to create subchapters. We will of course do that later on. When we right click on an empty space, we have a small panel that appears suddenly. We have many options here, under shortcuts next to them. We can even select many images and arrange them. I do not advise using it since it will mess everything up. So uh, please don't. Of course, we can also place an image underneath another image or in front of it by pressing the cursor keys. Remember to save your workspace. The shortcut is Command S or Control S. Classic. And we can also export the scene, the images one by one or some selected images we will select a range of clothes for the character we will use. What I like about Pinterest is the recommendation part below. For example, I like this style. The algorithm of the website will suggest me images that have a link to the image I'm viewing at the moment. So we scroll down and see lots of great clothes. Oh, I, I really like these shorts. And I like this shirt too. It's like going shopping for our character. The more time we spend on it, the more defined she will look. The first thing we figure out is that we are going to make a gloomy character. She will use darker tones. The idea is using many pictures in order to pick parts of the clothes to craft our character style. Oh god, look at these shorts. They will be a pain to animate. Let's put them on the board. Work bit by bit and group by group to avoid resizing all images at the same time. We will make some subgroups for the clothes. Let's do shorts and resize it to make it tiny. Yes, tiny titles. Copy paste and name the new one belt. Again, we will name it shirt. Now we order them on these new subchapters. We go back to Pinterest and keep searching. The process repeats itself. Search, drag, resize, arrange, and again. Search, drag, resize, arrange. With our research, we begin to pinpoint what we would like to see in our character. I like this hair or toe size, this face and composition. All the references must serve a purpose. 
We can also select a group of images, a notes, and move it, resize it as we wish. We can work searching parts of the body. Pay attention to the eyes, the face, the hair, the morphology of the character, its proportions, and the hands. You can also copy and paste some of the existing images and paste them on other groups. As you can see, I'm picturing a white-haired girl, partly goth girl. I think this hairstyle will go well with the kind of character I'm picturing. Pick references, not only for the looks, but also for the images feeling. You can also search actresses and actors you like to create characters. Even friends and family if they are okay with it. The most realistic characters are based on real people. There will be references that will catch your eye and will appear in different groups. Keep an eye on them because this means this is a major reference for our future work. We go to color script now. As you can see this Pinterest subgroup is used to give the color moods we will see in on our group. Now we create another big group, the background. You can arrange it anyway. I'll put it below character design, because I, I want to. Now we will create the title of this pure ref board and name it class 101 ref. Well, I changed the title, but it's okay. You can change things up. Then we will begin filling the background group with images as we did on the other groups. Here, as you can see, I picked a GIF to show you that animated GIFs and videos are not yet supported in pure ref unfortunately, but they will be added as a single picture. I picked the GIF mainly for the color mood. I may use this color palette later and put the image on the color subgroup below background. We will fill this subgroup with all the images on color script. We can go faster now that we know how to use the tools. The color script is the term used in animation for the different color moods through an entire sequence. Remember that also you can use the canvas space to prioritize some images. The more the images are close to the group or subgroup title, the more important they are. We copy and paste the color subgroup and name it Background Ideas for Composition References. Well, quite a, quite a complicated name. But for those references, we won't use Pinterest. We will use some pictures my girlfriend and I have taken during our travels. I have put two images here in order to show you that we can select them both and drag them towards the canvas. Be careful with the size of these images, because it may cause pure ref to lag, if they are too big. The best references we can find, of course, are the most original ones. How do we get those kinds of images? Going through your village, city or countryside and taking pictures. You can even dress yourself and put your own clothes on the pure ref board. Don't be afraid to do it. These pictures were taken in the Alsace region, where a friend of mine lives on the Picardy region at the north of France. We can even put two lookalike pictures of different groups near each other to link these two references together. Here we have a lot of images I picked from my vacation albums. Because of their size, we have to reduce them and optimize the canvas size. We can use space, both in Windows and Mac, to zoom on a single image, or if many images are selected, we can zoom on the selection. While selecting one image, you can travel with the arrowheads from left to right. I don't recommend them because they will travel in the order you added the images. Anyway, adding your own pictures is one of the best things you can do. If you are looking for historical pictures for character design, the best thing to do is go to museums and take pictures if you can. Here are some pictures of the Roman Museum in Rome. I found many pieces of armor there. When I go to museums, I spend too much time taking pictures of weird and beautiful objects. Well, a reference board can be filled a lot more, but we will stop for now. We can keep searching and creating new groups and subgroups. Remember to save your pure ref file and create many versions if you can. Any work you do, you should try saving it at least in two different places your PC and an external storage disk. Sometimes when we save a pure ref file, the first time we save it will take more time than usual. Afterwards, it should be quicker. Here you can see what the pure ref file looks like. It always finishes at .pur, like pure ref. 
Ok, so let's try to quit it and open it again, just to check if the save file works. You should always save after you import your first image to the canvas. The images have loaded and everything is in place. We can also load recent files in PRF, going to menu, load, load recent and pick the files you want to load. This feature is really interesting. I will charge another pure ref file I made a while back. Here I have other images and stuff. I can select and copy an entire group to paste it in, an, in another pure ref file. Then I use the load recent feature again and I paste the images of the other file. In this way I can arrange the images I already have and delete them while keeping the references I want. I will put some of them on character on other on others on clothes. Now we have groups with images from other pure ref files. And with this piece of info, we finish our first class. We learn how to compose a pure ref file and how to search for reference on the internet. We also learn that the best reference we can have are the original ones we found in our own environment. Now we can save the file and finally export the whole board. We export it by pressing Command E on Mac or Control E. On Windows. We name the file and choose the width and height of our export file. Let's pump the quality up. I advise you to click on borders and background. It's just my personal preference, but I prefer the color black. Okay, let's go on. Now let's hide PureRef pressing Command H or Control H and take a look at the PNG file we exported. The resolution is less good than the other one we have in pure ref. We can always increase it, but the PNG file will perform less good. We can also export in parts if we want, or by group. It may be easier if the need arises. We can also export images one by one by selecting them on right clicking anywhere. We choose export selected images on click on it. Then a little menu will appear. We just have to click on export cropping and type another name in the override name section. We'll click on export and the images will be ready. Today we we'll learn how to use PureRef on the importance of using references. In next class we will start drawing our main protagonist. Thank you very much and have a great day.